everyone it's crochet by bev welcome to my channel hope you are doing well today for this video tutorial we're going to make this bag this bag is made of t-shirt yarn or jersey cotton yarn this t-shirt yarn are made of recycled cotton it's like the same the fabric of the t-shirt so they call it t-shirt yarn or jersey cotton yarn and this is stretchable as you can see there's so many brands you can see in online just type t-shirt yarn or jersey cotton yarn this yarn that i'm using today is the hook spaghetti and i'm gonna use 10 millimeter hook for your reference the measurement of my mini version is 9 inches wide or 23 centimeters and this is 8 inches 20.5 centimeters and this is a total of 8 rows and then 20 chains for the handle and for this bigger one it is 9 inches also 23 centimeters and 9 inches long 23 centimeters and this is a total of 10 rows and 50 chains for the handle for the materials i use this t-shirt yarn or jersey cotton yarn 10 millimeter hook tape measure scissors stitch markers and small hook just to help you to weave your ends and that's it in my mini version i use 230 grams and this bigger one i use 250 grams of this yarn and this is hook separate all right so before we start please don't forget to subscribe to the channel click the notification bell so you will be notified for more videos and you can share your work with me in my instagram at crochet by bed and enjoy making your bag and let's start we're going to start by chaining our stitch pattern is a multiple of two plus two okay so any even number or two plus two all right so i'm going to use this yarn for this bag but you can make it wider or longer or smaller it's up to you in your desired size you want for your bag okay so we're going to start by make a slip knot and i'm going to chain 22 continue chaining all right so when you are done your chain so this is 22 chains now we're going to work our double crochet into the sixth chain from our hook so we're going to skip one two three four five so we're going to skip five chains and then work double crochet into the sixth chain one two three four five skip that then work double crochet here so this five chains is skip here so this is our chain then one two three our first double crochet then skip this chain so we're going to work double crochet here six chain from our hook so i'm gonna work here only one loop of this chain and double crochet okay so this is one chain then one two three our first double crochet and then chain one here then double crochet all right so to continue the stitch pattern we're going to chain one skip one chain then double crochet here into the next chain and then just repeat like that chain one skip one double crochet here into the next chain Alright, so I'm done here the first side of the bag. So I work here my last double crochet and then we're going now to work here at the other side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to chain one and then here at the other side we're going to work here on this other side of the loop of this chain. 
so here i'm going to show you this bag i work another one double crochet here instead i chain here i work another one double crochet in the same stitch here to give extra closing of this side or of this bag as you can see there is one extra double crochet here at this side so this is what I did here in this bag but in this bag I'm going to work chain one then continue double crochet here at the other side of the chain. So the other side of the chain as you can see this is the chain so I'm going to work here double crochet. Then we're going to continue our stitch pattern. So chain one, then skip one chain, then at this other side of the chain here, we're going to work our double crochet. So I'm now carrying these tails, less rib of ends. Alright, so continue the stitch pattern. Chain one, skip one chain, then on this other side of this, work your double crochet. This. Skip one double crochet. All right, so continue. All right, so here we are now here into our last double crochet. So this is our skip double crochet before. So we're going to chain one then skip one then here we're going to work one double crochet then chain one now we're going to slip stitch into that on top of the double crochet this that skip chains before so this is the chain one then this is the top of the first double crochet so we're going to slip stitch here So now it look like this our first round. You can count your double crochet. I have a total of 20 double crochet. You can count 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20. So 20 double crochet. Okay, to continue, we're going to make chain 3. So this chain 3 counts as our first double crochet and then another chain one as our chain one then skip one then double crochet here on top of our double crochet this is it all right so chain four here so this chain three first counts as our first double crochet then our chain one here and then double crochet on top of the double crochet then chain one skip this chain one space then double crochet on top of the double crochet all right so simply as that chain one skip one double crochet so work this around so here you're going to work as normal like double crochet chain one then skip this chain then double crochet on top of this double crochet okay so continue your stitch pattern all the way around then here we're going to slip stitch on top of this chain three this first double crochet one two three slip stitch in there then continue for the next round all right so i'm going to show you once more later Okay, so i'm here at the side so just continue chain one then work as normal here on top of the double crochet your double crochet you just keep this chain one space and this side then work double crochet here to continue in this other side of the back okay so it's going to look like that so continue chain one then skip this then double crochet here Alright, so as you can see, it's forming the side of the bed. 
continue all right so here we are now in the last stitch so this is my last double crochet then chain one then skip one and then slip stitch here on top of the chain three or the double crochet so one two three so we're going to slip stitch here then continue again the stitch pattern just chain four so this chain four counts as our first double crochet this chain three then chain one then double crochet onto the top of the double crochet so just skip the chain one space all right so it's very simple this stitch pattern so chain one skip one then work on top of the double crochet all right so you're going to continue this to make a few more rows until you reach the desired height or desired long for your bed so here i work nine rows and then in my tenth row i made the handle so this is how it looked like so this is nine rows and then in my tenth row i made the handle all right so i'm going to continue this to make more rows until i reach the maybe i'm going to work also the same length of this bag so it's up to you if you want to make it more shorter you can do also seventh row and then into your eighth row we're going to work the handle for the mini size of this bag okay so this is nine inches also 23 centimeters and a total of 10 rows so here nine row then in the 10th row the handle all right so i'm going to continue working on this just keep one double crochet on top of the double crochet stitch keep one and then here at the side just continue the same just double crochet chain one skip this chain one space then double crochet continue on this side and then here in the last stitch work your double crochet chain one then skip this last chain and then slip stitch here on top of this chain three one two three three slip stitch then this is the chain for this first double crochet here all right and then continue your next row just chain four your first chain three comes as your first double crochet then chain one then continue the stitch pattern again all right so continue making more rows until you reach the desired long so this is nine rows then in my tenth row i made the handle so i'm going to continue first this and then show you the how to make the handle all right all right so now i'm here in my eighth row so this is seventh row so i decided to make a mini version of this so this is a total of 10 rows so here in my ninth row i stop then i make my 10th row the handle so here for the mini version so i now stop here in my seventh row and then in my eighth row i'm going to make the handle all right so when you are done your seventh Seventh row or here ninth row we're going to work the handle so first put your stitch markers in here i just count three double crochet one two three and then put my stitch marker here this is my first double crochet one two three and then also in this side one two three and put your stitch marker here so this is four double crochet in between and also on the other side so one two three put your marker then one two three put your marker so also four double crochet here in between all right so to continue we're going to work here the chain four and then double crochet here on top of the double crochet and then chain one then here at the marquee stitch so only three double crochet 
and now we're going to work the handle so here in my first bag i work 50 chains and then attach here into the next side so this is 50 chains so here in my mini version i'm going to chain only 20 all right so it's up to you you can make it longer also all right so i'm going to make 20 chains then when you are done the length for your handle so this is 20 chains now we're going to work double crochet here into the mark stitch so just yarn over and then insert your hook into this mark stitch and work your double crochet as simply as that all right then continue stitch pattern chain one then skip the chain space double crochet on top of the double crochet until and this mark is stitched and work the chain also here for the next hand on this side all right okay so here i'm now done my double crochet in this mark stitch then i'm going to chain 20 also then work double crochet here into the mark stitch then continue the stitch pattern then here into the last stitch just chain one then slip stitch on top of the first double crochet or this chain three all right and now we are done our bag so just cut this yarn then we're going to whip this all right so this is how it look like now the mini version of the bag so if you would like to make the handle thicker i suggest you to continue here so just slip stitch here right in the first stitch then slip stitch again here into the next stitch or this chain space and then the next space just slip stitch and also in the chain space you can also into the here so i'm just only showing you all right so for me i don't need to make this thicker if you would like i'm just showing you how to do it so just a slip stitch here and then into the chain space work also a slip stitch you can do here into the one loop and just a slip stitch into all the chains all right to make it thicker your handle so it's going to look like that but for me i'm not doing it so i'm okay already with this only chain handle because this is already thick for me so when you are done here just chain and then slip stitch into your first stitch and now we're going to cut this and then whip this or fasten up our yarn okay you can use your smaller hook to weave this tail. And now we are done with our bag. So this is how it look like the mini version. So it's very cute. I really like it. And this is the bigger one. So this is 50 chains and it gives also a stretch when you gonna put something inside and also this all right so hope you like this video tutorial you can tag me in my instagram at crochet by bed and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you will be notified for more video tutorial and thank you so much again for joining me and hope to see you again next time take care everyone happy crochet bye <music>